So on my way to work today. Do you get it? Hello and welcome to a public service announcement. I like normal size peeners. There's a lot of girls that like normal size peeners. <laughs> the small coochie club really exists. And we here on Redhead Redemption are in the small coochie club. Do not let this video or its contents shame you in any way possible. This video is sponsored by Vully.com. So somehow, magically, I belong to a Reddit called Big Dick Problems, even though I ain't got a dick. <laughs> But I find it to be funny. I don't know how I find all of these reddits about penises, y'all. It's my favorite thing. I can't. I don't know what to tell you. Gray sweatpants are for dudes with dick, not dudes with peepees. But if I say leggings are for girls with ass and not girls with long backs, I'm the bad guy. He really said girls with long backs. Let that sizzle for a minute. Study concludes bigger than average penis is a disability and is associated with low mental capacity. Can relate. You know, I'm something of a dumb myself. Wow, according to this, I must have a 250 IQ. Put on. How to address women during gray sweatpants season. Uh, is it up here? He doesn't have to have a huge dick though. It's just if he wears the um, gray sweatpants and then he's got a package and it's just kind of like poking through. I'm just like, I don't know why. It's hot. Not if you're a grower, ha, huh? take that. Wait, how do I feel about this? Shower, but thick thighs. Feels bad, man. Don't even start on me, thick thighs and a grower. Don't thick thighs push your bulge forwards though? At least that's the case for me. <laughs> do thick thighs push your bulge out? I wanna know. What qualifies as a big dick? Anything over six inches to me is in the big dick territory. Anything between like three and a half to five is in the average dick territory. And then under three and five, it's small, but doesn't mean it's not usable. If you've ever run into an issue because of the size of your wiener, you qualify. This is the common stuff like touching the toilet water, showing in public, having teeth scrape, uh, etc. Even if you have it, no one minds. Come sit, discuss your big dick problems, y'all. Penis size percentile calculator. Wait, how big is my penis? I guess my clitoris. I am in the two inch. What is my girth? One inch, flaccid, 0.5 inch. See y'all, all y'all got bigger dicks than me. When you bragged about only liking big dicks, but now it's reality and he's making soup of your insides. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's my favorite when the guys say, um, oh, I can't wear condoms because they, they're too tight on my dick. Boy, you better buy some big size condoms. Okay, so this is pretty much my experience with overly sized dongs. I did this with a former friends with benefits. She said she wanted it. And at the end, her legs were shaking. She told me she loved it, but that her insides really hurt. Apparently it took three days for her to stop hurting. She thinks I moved her uterus around. Did she orgasm? She did, but after the euphoria is when the pain started to hit. Yes, this is what happens. Because in the moment, pain and pleasure can kind of mix. So you can be like really, really feeling it because it's like, it feels really good. But then as soon as it's over, oh my God, the pain is not worth it to me. It is not worth it. When I can have just just as great feeling with something that does not give me severe pain for days. Like literally it would make me feel like I just got a, like my period or something like y'all. It's really not like, at least if you win the small coochie club, <laughs> I'm pretty sure mine's like pretty short on the side. It's really that painful. Well, it's for me anyway. So just not worth it. When the porn says big dick and you realize yours is bigger. Ah, uh, that never happens though. Not really. <laughs> when you have a big penis, but no one wants to have sex with you because you're not handsome. No one knows the secret I possess. <laughs> Would you rather be ugly with a big dick or handsome with a normal sized dick? Handsome. Y'all better be saying you want to be handsome. Just saying. When you're a trash human being fuck boy, but she keeps coming back to you because you're Thick warlock. <laughs> ah. Female here. How mad do you think my friends with benefits would be if I said this to him? <laughs> probably flattered slash would laugh. If he gets genuinely mad, probably shouldn't be your FWB anymore. But you'll still go back to him. Haha, <laughs> probably. How did he react though? When he ain't that cute, but all your girls know why you with him. <laughs> <laughs> when your dick is 7.1 inches long, but you round it down to seven. I too am extraordinarily humble. Absolutely not me, IRL. No, every guy I met, you're like, how, so how big is your dick? They're like 8.523. Okay. Her because I'm a grower, not a shower. that shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. There are two types of girls when you unleash the Kraken the first time. This is me. No. Ow. Please don't hurt me. 
<laughs> the life of a grower. Tiny until you turn it on. <laughs> I had a chuckle, okay? It was chuckle worthy. Gosh. Grower gang unite, also known as boys to men. <gasps> you only get it if you're old like me. Finally, a bathroom for me and my enormous penis. <laughs> okay, class, today we will be talking about loyal men with big dicks. Yeah, no. <laughs> Passed out on the beach and my mates had to drag me home. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so f I died. I'm dead. Pay from hell. When you got a big dick but no girlfriend. Needlessly large rod. Is this some World of Warcraft? How you assume her head game is <laughs> when you actually meet up. <laughs> Get it? The teeth? <laughs> when I get out of the swimming pool. <laughs> I developed the technique to immediately pull my trunks to avoid that suction cup look. Haha. <laughs> I've gotten so tired of people staring when I get out of the pool. It was cute at first. Now I just feel violated. Is this a thing? All you guys with big dongs be walking around feeling like, mm, don't look at me. I don't know. Stop objectifying me. I mean, I guess if women can feel that way, you can too. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Like That's only fair. Oh god, I didn't believe it when they said we already had eight inches of snow. Had to check for myself. <laughs> Cause he stuck his dick in it in the snow. Cause he eight inches. <laughs> Imagine getting frostbite on your dick. You'll just have to ask someone to warm it up for you. Uh, got another risky click. Please don't be gross. Oh. Why I hate oral. <laughs> I bet a lot of you guys are like, I don't get it. <laughs> Burn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're beautiful just the way you are, boys. Oh, this is so dumb. Dick size chart. Six and under are small. What? 7.5 to 9.5 are average. What? 10 to 12 are big. What? Oh, this girl's crazy. She's so dumb. This girl clearly needs to join porn. Can we just talk about that for a second? The average sizes in porn are seven to nine inches. Like those are mostly like your dick variation in porn. Seven to nine. There are some sixes uh, if they're thick and attached to pretty boys. And then there's normal ones too because there is porn that's made because some people don't always want to see a huge dick. They can't relate, you know? There are occasional guys who are legitimately like 10 or 11, but they're so occasional. And I don't even know what they do with that thing. <laughs> Like, I never saw one. And girls have told me who, like, know who's nine, so I believe them when they say he's 11. You know what I'm saying? Because they're, like, out here f***ing the guy who's nine, and I know who's nine because I worked with him, too. You know what I'm saying? Nine is, I mean, f f too much for me. <laughs> four and a half to six is average. Under four and a half is small, but you, you could still do something with, like, three to four and a half. You could still have a good time. Girls insides are like three inches so if you got some moves and you know how to work it and you can do all the other things like totally fine seriously though i will say if you're gonna have a small willy like under four then i would say work on your body as much as possible muscles and hotness and stuff can like offset the size you know what i'm saying to all the men that claim their dick is too big for condoms stop the lies <laughs> Hell yeah, girl. This girl over here doing the important things that need to be done on the internet. Master of deception. <laughs> and this lady laughing at it. What is this? What is he doing? What is the purpose of this? I want one. What is that? Hell yes. Oh no, Ethan. My dick just touched the inside of the toilet bowl. There is no other solution. I'm cutting my dick off. <laughs> One of us. So, when I lived in New York City, I dated quite a few Jewish men. I'm pretty sure Ethan is Jewish. And um, I don't know what it is in that Ashkenazi DNA, <laughs> but Jews be packing. Probably the same as like how it is with black guys. Like not every black guy is a huge dick, not every Jew is a big dick, but the ones I saw, James Dean, also Jewish. Just saying. <laughs> All right, who's been reading this in public? How to live with a huge penis. My favorite book to read in public. <laughs>
Oh, that'd be hilarious. Just go somewhere crowded and just be like, I'm just gonna read my book. Hey girl, hey. Oh no. Email from my boss this morning. Hashtag lifeguard problems. I just wanted to say how much we appreciate having you at the pool. You've been doing a great job and the other guards have had nothing but nice things to say about you. You really saved the day by working full time since we were seriously shorthanded. Having said that, we have received a few complaints in the past few weeks from a few members about your attire. I'm not sure the most prudent way I can put this, but a few parents have complained about how visible your anatomy is in your suit and they indicated they were uncomfortable having their children use the pool around you. Now, please understand that this is not an issue for me. Oh my God. Please understand your big ass dick and your lifeguard shorts is not an issue for me. Oh, that's amazing. And none of the other guards have indicated this is a problem for them. I'm simply repeating what I've been told by several members and as I'm sure you understand, corporate's only interest is, is keeping as many members as possible. Unfortunate, but true. It's so unfortunate you can't walk around with your big ass dick in your wet swim trunks. I'm gonna miss it. The possibility I see at this point is offering you the board shorts instead. Let me know if you think that might be helpful or if you have any other suggestions. Let's meet tomorrow morning before you start to discuss how we might be able to resolve this. I'm sorry I wasn't able to meet with you in person today as I had a previous appointment. <laughs> if this lady ain't trying to bang this lifeguard, I don't know what is. Oh no, it was a guy to a guy. Oh, I thought it was a girl. Oh, it's ruined. Oh my God. I don't know about you, but that sounded like a come on. Is it just me? Is it just my dirty mind? Is it just, tell me if it's just me, seriously. Sending the bad signal for Bay. <gasps> oh, <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Going in dry. Oh no, please, no. I are, I'm literally already in pain. My ovaries hurt. Girls like this. Is she gonna really, is she gonna, oh! Oh! All right, that was our awesome Big Dick Problems Reddit review. Let me know if you wanna do a small dick problems Reddit review. And just remember, your willies are great. Love your willies. I love all your willies, okay? Hope you enjoy my highly demonetized videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notifications button if you enjoy this video. Leave me some comments. Hit me with some more Reddits to troll. Love you guys so much. Keep watching my videos.